how long will it take $1,500 to become $10,000 if it's invested at a rate of 6% compounded quarterly? So, first thing I want to do is write down my equation for compound interest. So we're going to have the amount of time t equals the initial amount times 1 plus the rate divided by n, where n is the number of times that you compound per year, raised to the nt, where t is in years. So in our special case, initial amounts 1,500, the rate 6%, so I write that as 0.06, and the number of times we're going to compound a year quarterly, that means n is equal to 4. So we want to know when is our equation equal to 10,000, and then we'll solve for t. So we're looking at this equation here. I move the 1500 to the other side, and now I have an equation where the exponent is isolated. So how do we get the exponent out? That's the whole point of logarithm. If I apply log to both sides of my equation, then I can bring the exponent down in front, and then it becomes a calculator exercise. So let's take a look. So when apply log to both sides, in this case that means base 10, but it's not written on the function. So what do we have? I'm going to have log of 100 over 15 equals log 1.015 raised to the 4t. The 4t I can bring out in front. Okay, that's the rule of logarithm. If I have log of a number to an exponent, exponent moves to the front. So now I have 4t log of 1.015, and this is just algebra. So we can isolate the t, log of 100 over 15, over 4 times log 1.015, put that through my calculator, and I get 31.9 years. Now, we can check that. I just take 31.9, put it in my original equation, make sure 10,000 comes out. So we put 31.9 in. And then what comes out? 10,027. That's close enough. That's probably going to be due to rounding.